everyone. So over the last few years, I have actually really minimalized my wardrobe. Uh, I shop lesser, I buy better things. I am very conscious about what I purchase. Um, I think it's because of old age. Uh, but also at the same time, I feel like living a very minimalist life, especially when it comes to dressing up, really saves me a lot of time. So between actually learning how to minimalize my wardrobe and becoming a lifestyle content creator, I think there's a lot of lessons that I really learned from it. So today, I wanted to go through some of my wardrobe essentials. Uh, I got a challenge in which if I only had 10 items in my wardrobe, what would it be? So how I would be doing this video is that I would go through tops, bottoms, outerwear, and one dress that I feel like is a key piece in my life. And it is so versatile, you can dress it up or dress it down. So let's go. All right, to start with top specifically, I'm wearing one essential top that I would bring if I were to suddenly move to another country, and that would be this white tank top. Um, I also have four other, uh, three other tops that I have here. Um, they're mostly long sleeve because I feel like long sleeve tops are easier to be casual and easier to actually be semi formal. So I have one um, cardigan top from the Bonito. A shirt from Three Monkeys. This one is very unique because the button placement helps create different looks. But overall, it's a simple, oversized shirt that you can wear for any occasions. And lastly, this long sleeve navy top that I got from Cos. This material is, I think, I think it's a combination of maybe scuba polyester. But this one, the material. It looks very, very formal. Um, I'll show you later. So for bottoms, I, out of the 10 items, I put three pieces aside for bottoms that I think would be super relevant even if you had to go to a formal or casual event and that would be this silk skirt. This is from H&M, I got it a couple of years ago. Um, this one, I don't think it's 100% silk, it's a silk blend but I like how it looks. It's a little bit old now but it still looks great. The next one would be a pair of black pants that are um, a little bit oversized. This one's from Love Bonito. Uh, Love Bonito makes really good um, clothes for the Asian uh, fit. Uh, this one is a little bit oversized, high-waisted, and it's uh, loose on the bottoms. And the third is this pair of jeans that I'm wearing. So these jeans are not super oversized. They are just slightly oversized. They are a little bit longer than my legs um, because you know sometimes when you want to wear heels they still look good. Alright, out of the 10 items that I would bring or in building a capsule timeless wardrobe is of course outerwear. I specifically chose black for the two outerwears that I think is super essential to anyone's capsule wardrobe. One is this oversized double-breasted blazer. This is vintage. I got it locally. It's actually a store, Lua Archives. They thrift and they actually sell different types of blazer. But so far, I think this is my most, most worn blazer because it's slightly oversized. It um, has a bit of padding but not too much, so it looks great. And another one would be this particular blazer that I'm wearing. It's colorless. It is a little bit more feminine. 
then compared to this of course it gives you a very different kind of look especially when you want to go out so these two are my absolute outerwear essentials All right, lastly, if I have to elope today and only bring 10 items, 10 clothing, I think this dress would really, really, really fit into like a timeless capsule wardrobe. Um, it's a midi dress. If I hold it up, you can't really see it, but it's by Celine. Um, this is like really good material, really good structure. It's thick enough to pass off as a formal dress, but it's also done correctly you can wear it very casually with sneakers so this is a definite wardrobe must have a classic black dress that isn't trendy very timeless and very classic